Hey folks and welcome back to the channel for an update on Project Zomboid, a look at the latest patch notes and of course an overview of the most prominent new features arriving with this update. If you find what you're looking for in this video, remember to drop it a like, it's hugely helpful to the channel and subscribe too if you fancy hearing a bit more about Project Zomboid and want to check out some of my guides or gameplay. Alright, let's go ahead and dive into what's coming with 41.66. So, what's all the fuss about anyway? Well, the big ticket item in this update is the player count for multiplayer servers. Now, if you were disappointed with the player count when Build 41 came to the public branch, which was 32 players for anyone wondering, then you'll be glad to know that this update is changing that to a whopping 100 players. Now, it's important for me to stress here that this is still in testing, and they're large scale tests at that. The devs specifically state that this is likely to be unstable and result in poor map streaming and desync issues. Issues, so you've been warned. Either way, it's a huge step in a positive direction and fingers crossed we can steadily increase player counts as time goes on. On the topic of multiplayer servers, but not nearly as big as the player capacity, there's now also a login queue so you won't need to repeatedly try to join your favourite servers for ages hoping for a slot to free up. Now next up we've got VoIP updates and anyone that has played multiplayer for anything more than a couple of hours has likely bumped into the issues with VoIP that have been apparent since multiplayer was released. The quality was often poor and the gain was too high, which resulted in some players doing their best impression of a washing machine in a wind tunnel. And on top of that, we can now use radios to communicate over long range, which I'm sure will add a lot of possibilities for role-playing servers, as much as it'll help groups wanting to use in-game comms. VoIP and text can be exchanged over radios using the same frequency, and stationary radios can also be used for two-way text communications. So if anyone is looking to host their own apocalypse apocalyptic radio show, now you can. So I'd say that's probably about it for the major additions with this patch, but there is still a lot of what could be considered smaller additions in here as well, which is stuff like admin controls to create custom safe zones and safe houses, which is a pretty neat addition that I can see being used to create some cool outposts or trader settlements on those RP servers. There's also some surface level design changes to things like PvP icons, and I won't go over all of that stuff that's been changed for server owners, but I will leave a link in the description to the original update post if you want to go through that. Next up, I'm going to take a look at some of the balancing changes, which are essentially smaller features that have been changed or adjusted with balancing in mind, as the name would suggest. Now, I don't play on PvP servers much, but apparently the M16 was, and I quote, a death laser before this update, as it had some of the initial experimental values assigned to it still. Its minimum and maximum damage has now been reduced. On the side of loot containers, the military lockers and crates that were previously unmovable can now be picked up and moved to your base, which is something I've personally been on the lookout for since they came about. They will now spawn loot as well, where previously some of them couldn't be looted and just acted as props. Now there's a bunch of other miscellaneous changes and fixes, but there's one I want to draw some attention to in particular, and that's the use of sheet ropes to create log stacks. Previously this could only be done with the rope item, which was pretty hard to come by, but now you'll be able to tear up clothes and use sheet ropes instead, which means you can transport much more logs at once in stacks of two or three to make building easier for yourself. For sounds and audio, some new noise work sounds have been added for the likes of repairing and refueling generators. There's now bullet impacts, which I think is going to add a lot more life to those gun battles between players. There's more construction sounds, cooking sounds, and sounds for when you're climbing over high fences. It's just going to add a lot more life to things in general. There's more sounds on the way, I'm sure, but this is an ongoing project, so there's plenty to be checking out with this new build. One thing that has seen quite a lot of changes on its own is the foraging system, which recently was reworked by Eris for release in conjunction with multiplayer. Several new item types have been added to foraging, making it an even more useful skill than it was previously. Ammunition, medical supplies, and clothing have all been added to the foraging finds within the urban environment, for example, which is going to be music to the ears of anyone basing in towns and cities. Pine cones have also been added to what you can find from foraging, but these can only be found found between the months of September to December and can be used as fire fuel. Nothing major, but a nice touch for sure. There's been a lot of other balancing changes to foraging, and the list here is pretty extensive, so again, there's a link in the description if you want the full ins and outs of that, but the important thing is that it's a very different mechanic now, so make sure you give it a try next time you play. And that's it from me in this one, but if you're looking for a place to try the new patch, I'll leave a pinned comment on this video with our Discord link, and you can join us there and get all of our server info from the PZ 
PZ server info channel. We have a publicly accessible server that is now running the new version and a Patreon server that is doing the same. Huge thank you to all of my existing Patreons once again, and there's a link in the description if you want to join them. Thanks guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.